This is a graph theory question. We have been given a simple undirected weighted graph G, which is having all of its edge weights as distinct. And we need to identify which of the given statements hold true about its minimum spanning trees. Now we know that there are some properties of an MST which can be applied in the graph kind of graph given to us is simple, undirected and weighted. So it does not have any self loops and it is non directed and weighted. So we can construct an MST for such graphs and we have algorithms such as Prims and Kruskal's for that purpose. And what does the minimum spanning tree actually tell us? For a given graph, when we construct its MST, what do we do? We convert it into a minimally connected graph in which we, there will be a path from every node to every other node, but the sum of all the edges included in it will be minimum. So if a graph has n nodes and let us say e edges, then its resulting MST will have n nodes, but n minus one edges only and such that the sum of all of the edge weights will be minimum. So those are some of the properties of MST and then depending upon the algorithm used, the way how we construct that MST differs. Let us have a look at the options. The edge with the second smallest weight is always part of any minimum spanning tree of G. Now, if we consider the Prim's algorithm or the Kruskal's algorithm, what we usually do is we start with the minimum weight edge. Let us say this is our graph. The edge weights are 1, 2, 3 and 4. How will we usually start? We pick up the edge with smallest weight and add it to our MST. Next, what we do is either we can search for the second minimum weight edge or we can anyway, if we add this edge, there will not be a cycle. We need to check if there are no cycles being formed along the way. Anyway, if there are two nodes and we connect them with an edge, then either we add an edge to this side or to this side, no cycle can be created because it is a simple undirected graph. So the second minimum edge weight will definitely be added to the MST for any given graph, which satisfies the given conditions. So this option will be true. Next one is saying that one or both of the edges with third smallest and fourth smallest weights are a part of any minimum spanning tree of graph G. So now for this, we will be assuming that the graph G has more than four vertices, then only it will have such edges existing. And assuming that we have to check whether the third smallest and the fourth smallest weight edges will be included in its MST or not. So for that, if we go by this algorithm, what we do is we have added the first smallest and the second smallest. Next, before adding the third smallest weight edge, we will be checking if it forms a cycle or not. It is possible that let us say there was an edge like this whose weight was let us say 2.5. So this is the third smallest. If we add this edge to our MST, it will definitely form a cycle. So we will exclude that and then include this fourth smallest. So basically we will definitely be including at least one of third smallest and the fourth smallest. If this third smallest adds a cycle, we will go for the fourth smallest. And it is also possible that both third smallest as well as the fourth smallest may be added to our MST. So this option is also true. Now coming to the third one, suppose S belongs to this is kind of a graph cuts we are talking about. It is being divided into two vertex sets such as we create a partition. Two vertices belong to this part and other two belong to the other part such that none of them is empty and both are unequal. So we have to consider the edge with minimum weight such that one of its vertices is in S and the other is not in S means in the other vertex set. So such an edge will always be a part of any MST of G. So basically we have divided a graph into two parts. Some nodes are lying in this part and some remaining ones are lying in the other part. And they are saying that there is a minimum weight edge which lies between two vertices such that one of them lies here and other of them lies in the other part. So this is the minimum weight edge. Let us say its weight is one. And 
others are connected and there can be other edges as well from whose one node belongs to this side and other nodes belongs to this side it is possible so whatever the case we are dealing with the minimum weightage will always be a part of the mst whether it belongs to the same part or it does not so this statement is also true it will always be a part of the mst now the last one is saying that g can have multiple msts now it is mentioned that all the edge weights are distinct in the given graph g so in such cases when the edge weights are distinct there is only a unique minimum spanning tree possible so this statement is incorrect it cannot have multiple spanning trees so the correct answer is a b and c